Let's take a step-by-step -step look at using Pablo to create custom images for your app's visual design. Pablo is a free, web-based resource that allows you to take basic images and transform them into designs created by you. The designs you need to produce for phones and tablets include the splash, home, and inner screens, the side drawer background, a logo that we made already using Cool Logo, and an app icon. We'll be using Pablo to make our screens and icon. To begin, log in at pablo.buffer.com. You should see a screen that looks something like this. Now, first-time users may get a screen inviting you to take a tour of Pablo before seeing this screen. If that happens, just click the Pablo logo in the upper left corner. Next, upload an image for your theme at the bottom left. Try to use an image that is either in landscape or square format. Notice that the option landscape which we'll use for our tablet splash screen is the default selection at the upper right. Your image will appear in the center panel. For step one, you'll use this image for the tablet splash screen. You'll notice that the image includes a place to put text over it. Now we'll want to use our own logo and so we're going to remove that text field. To do so, Highlight the entire phrase and delete it. Since we're starting with a splash screen for tablets, we want our image to be bright and eye-catching. For this, we need to remove the light contrast filter and select none from the options at the right. Doing this makes the image stand out. Now you can add the logo you created using CoolLogo.com or any other source. Just click the Insert Logo or Graphic button at the bottom of the editing frame on the right. Find the logo you created on your computer or cloud folder and select it. If you want to use the given text as your logo instead of creating one elsewhere, just edit it the way you want it. The logo will appear in the center of the screen and will probably be smaller than you'd like it to be. Both size and position are easy to change. You can change the size by using the slider at the bottom of the editing window. You may need to scroll down on the editor to reveal this. Move your logo to the desired position by clicking and dragging it. Once you've set your logo, you have an image that is eye-catching, includes your logo, and is in landscape format. All the elements needed for a splash screen for tablets. Click the Share and Download button at the bottom of the window. And finish by clicking the Download button at the bottom of the screen. Find your image in the folder. Notice it will be named Pablo. This would be a good time to rename it to match its use. You can choose to keep the background name and all the others. If you do, just use the guide on the last slide to see how to identify each one. Like so. Now let's create a splash screen for iPhone and Android phones. Start by changing the size, orientation, to portrait style. Notice that because we already created our tablet splash screen, we have a bright image with the logo. If you want to reposition your image, click the button and move the field to the desired spot. Move the field there, then click the Done button. You can again change the size and position of your logo using the same steps as before. Finish by clicking the Share and Download, then the Download buttons, to save your phone splash screen. 
Now don't forget to rename your image. We suggest something like a phone splash. Now we need to create our home and inner screen backgrounds. These images will be the same for both because the difference between the two is that the platform places the logo on the home screen automatically. First, we need to remove the logo. Click on it, then click the Remove button under the Logo Options. Next, let's mute the splash screen image so that it'll look better as a background. Remember the filter options? Select light contrast for this. Just like that, you now have an image you can use for all your phone, home screens, and inner screens. Save it, as before, and name the file something like phone inner screen. Now you need to create a home and inner screen background for tablets. To do so, just change the size or orientation to square. Save and rename. All of your screen images are done. If you want, you can remove the filter on the square version to create your app icon. Just save and rename as app icon. Now that you've created all your images, it's time to make them part of your app. Now you're ready to import your images. Use the Upload button and be sure you're doing so for the correct devices. Finally, here's a guide to show how each Pablo file name matches up to the image you need to upload. Just take it one step at a time and your designs will be perfect.